All right. I guess we're doing this. We're making the Heart of an Artist music video, which is going to be our final Iris music video. And I've been asked a lot to do a behind the scenes kind of video for us making our music videos because we have such simple setups, but they end up looking uh, pretty good, I would say. Uh, a lot of people have described them as extraordinary. <laughs> oh, that sounds too e egotistical. I hate that. A lot of people have said they're good. So, yeah, I figured since it's my final Iris music video, I'd do a behind the scenes for it. My voice is kind of giving out at the moment, so I apologize for that. At the moment, I have most of the music video done, but I want to redo it because of my hair. First of all, I got it cut, and then I got it re-dyed, and it wasn't re-dyed for a while because of negligence, as well as I don't know how to do it myself, and I was just too depressed out of it <laughs> to even care. But now that my hair is back, I think it's time that we redo what I already have and do it justice, like this this song justice, because it is my favorite song. So with that being said, yeah, let's let's. Let's just get started. That camera is way too short for me. It's time for me to set up the blue screen. And if you're ever wondering how I do that, let me show you. So we have a light there. We have a light there, which has to be moved over actually to be behind the camera to make it look brighter. So it'll look something like that. And then we have that light there. And the reason why I'm using my phone instead of this camera is because this camera glitches out a lot and is terrible for doing blue screens. I have to get a better camera. I know. Yeah. Before I got these, th that light and that light, I used to set up flashlights around my room to make it brighter. And I've always had that light for these videos. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how I've always done blue screen stuff. And the reason why I'm doing the uh, the blue screen first is because th that is the main chorus. Chorus scene two is a black screen, which will have the same setup, kind of. Uh, but you'll see that in a bit once we're done with all the blue screen stuff. There's only two blue screen scenes, and then we're done with blue screen, the rest is black screen. So... Yeah, let's get to it. The reason why I'm using a blue screen instead of a green screen, uh, if it isn't obvious. So what I use for a blue screen is just this blue blanket that I have. Uh, it's got a dark side and a bright side. I usually use the bright side because it works a lot better with the clothing that I wear. But if I ever wear something brighter, uh, I'll turn it to the darker side so I can mask out the color a lot easier. Which I did with the... Uh, I'll find my way music video that never really stayed on the channel that only a few people will remember. Even I vaguely remember it, but it happened. <laughs> the way I set it up is I take thumbtacks, I stick them into the ceiling. <laughs> it's not the best, but it works. Right now I'm doing all this by myself because these scenes I can get by myself, but there are certain few that I can't get by myself that I have to wait for. So. If I can do it by myself, I will do it by myself. If I can't and I have to wait, then I'll wait. That's a poster you all don't see often. That's going to get replaced soon. Pick a spot here that's not really... And we want to make sure it's tight so there's no wrinkles in it. So we'll just... Yeah, my cat's here. Just chilling with me. That is a uh, big part of my music videos is my cat's just watching me. Making sure I'm doing everything correctly. I'll show you Snowball here in just a second. Oh, don't fall off the bed. See how it's sagging a little bit here? That's why we got the extra thumbtacks, just in case. Because I don't trust that. And now it's time to get all dolled up for the music video. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, I mean it's time to brush my hair, put on some different clothes, because this is an Iris music video, so I want to have the Iris shirt on, or some kind of band shirt on. Preferably Iris, but it's really faded right now. And my leather jacket, because I love that thing. <laughs> and let's be honest, when does it not work in a video? Any excuse to wear it, I'll take. Cause, I mean, like, look at it. Look at this thing. You're telling me, you're telling me that this don't work, you got your damn mind. Yes, it's time to get all dolled up. Where did I put my iris shirt? I think it's in the closet. I hung it up in the, in the closet. Anyway. Oops, sorry buddy. He tried laying on my leather jacket. Snowball left. Music video is gonna be awful. Snowball is an integral part of this, and he just left. Sag. God, these lights are 
freaking bright and hot. Don't forget hot. How does it look on uh, this camera? Perfect, 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 perfect. That's how I want that to look. All right, here we go. I can't help your souls To live a smile through your toes Cause I know what you would do The rage written on the walls They can't stop me when I crawl This is the heart of an artist <laughs> All right, that's the blue screen done. We just need to get the next blue screen part, and that's just me facing this way, going like this. But I don't have a leather jacket on in that scene. So take that off, set that aside. Same setup, same thing. So here we go. This is for reaching out. Is it looking? Okay, there we go. Now it's time for the black screen. Okay, I took down the blue screen, and here's where things get difficult and complicated for no reason at all. So basically, to do the black screen, I have to move it after doing one scene. I have to get the scene where I'm facing this way, um, using this angle, because this is the only way I can stand up and have the light directly hit my face. And then I have to do another scene where I move it over to uh, this side, in front of the window and everything, like right behind me where I'm standing will be the black screen because it doesn't go all the way down to the ground and on the ground I have my bed blanket which is black and I can sit on to make it appear like the blanket goes all the way down. It's complicated, it sucks being tall, don't do it, <laughs> but this is what I have to do to make this work so let's just get started. Always make sure you have water if you're doing this. I didn't like that. Hang on, let's redo that. Sometimes it takes a few tries, because I didn't like that. Not everything's first try, and that's okay. Okay, there's that done. And God, was that bright. I think it was too bright, even. Okay, on to the next black screen. Okay, so I've got the second black screen set up, and um, it looks pretty good, and you may be questioning, like, how that's set up. Very weirdly. Because my ceiling fan's there, and I've just got to make it work. But it looks great for a black screen. We got it all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, and some on the bottom, because this is going to be a scene where I'm sitting. So yeah. With that being said, I'm going to put down this camera and get the other camera set up and yeah, we'll see how it looks in the end. Hopefully it looks a lot better. There are some shots and scenes I'm worried about redoing because they look so good the first time and I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to do them justice the second time around, but we shall see. This is what I get for redying my hair. Silly me, I should have left it. Stupid. Uh, also, for one of the scenes, it's going to be a little bit weird because I don't have handcuffs, believe it or not. I know, I'm 19, funny sex joke. But anyway, I don't have handcuffs. And there's a part in the song that says, take the cuffs off and breathe new life. I want to have lines on my wrist to signify that cuffs were on me. So the way I'm going to do that is by taking a hair tie, tying it around my wrist like this, kind of like flipping it in half, and putting my hand through the other side. And we should get... Some lines on my wrists in a bit. But yeah, that comes after this part. Or no, this comes during... Oh, I have to do this now. Fuck. I guess while I sit here and wait, I can listen to some music while I have this on my hands and set up this camera. Hey, now listen to me. You may question my methods, but nobody questions the results. And now I sit here. So now it's time to take the hair tie off and see if we've got a nice mark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real good. Like this. There I go. And now we need a scene from further away. Okay, so now we do this. And now we do another one where we're like this. And one last one where we're doing this. 
There we go. Okay, so my voice is even more messed up than yesterday. So I'm gonna take it easy today and not really do anything. Now it's time to port all those clips over, which I've already done, and it's time to edit them down and get them looking proper. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the blue screen and edit that together. Snowball's here. One second. There he is. What a good boy. For this music video, I want a cracked stone wall for the background for the blue screen, so we're gonna look that up. I'm gonna edit it a little bit to make it look better, and then put it in the back of the blue screen, so let's get started with that. Now we open up my editing software, which is CapCut. I know, crazy, I use CapCut on PC, but hey, it's free, and it gets the job done. Here's what we're going to do. I know you can't see it all that well, but we're going to import Art of an Artist, which is somewhere down here. There we go. So that way I can match up the sounds perfectly. So that should sync these two up perfectly. Now we're going to zoom in, center myself. About 135 scale should do the trick. Yep. Oh, no. Maybe a nice multiple of seven. Said no one ever. All right, now we take cut out chroma key and we, there we go. That's a bit much. <laughs> and now we import the image of that cracked wall. Oh, I see the problem here. Okay, I accidentally, yeah, my bad. That's my bad. Oh, that looks so much better than it did originally. Okay, all right. I know y'all can't see it, but that looks so much better than it did originally. I'm still facing the problem with that right there, so. All right, now we go over into adjustments and we adjust it to look the same as the rest of the video. So we turn the brightness down to negative 15, and then we turn the contrast up to 25. Highlight all the way down, shadow all the way down. Oh wait, no. Yeah, and then illumination is positive 15, but I think the highlight can go up actually yeah we'll leave it there because that that looks about the same as the rest that works so we'll title this art of an artist r blue not too bad Alright, so I just need to... Can we pause the music so you can... No, all I need to do is... Alright, and now we need to be looking this way. I look like shit. Where? <laughs> this way, so... Got it! Alright. Okay, three, two, one. Alright. <laughs> I'm getting wet. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Alright, ready? I got it. You can see the backpack behind me. Let me scrunch it up and do a little ball. Oh, that's good. Your hair's covering it up. Okay, do you want more of like your where do you want the camera to cut off? Uh where it starts to see like your it's wiener. Okay. It's okay if it can because I'll just zoom in. Okay. Yeah, we started. Okay. I wanted to do it actually. Cause like I feel like I'm squinting way too much. Okay, I know I've done a horrible job remembering to record the behind the scenes stuff for the music video, and I apologize for that, and I'm so sorry that the camera quality is different right now. It's um, it's just because my other camera that I've been using is kind of dead, so I'm using this camera. But anyway, as a lot of you know, with these music videos, there were supposed to be covers, and this one I really want to do a cover for, but <laughs> I don't think I'm good enough to do a cover, and my dad, I've talked to my dad about this before, and he's probably going to sign me up for vocal lessons and yeah 
but every time I try to do a cover, I end up hating it, and it just doesn't make it, nobody sees it, and I'm like, okay, scrap that one, never look at it again, pretend it doesn't exist, move on to the next thing. So, I know I'm probably getting enough for recording this cover, and I'm not going to like it, and I'm going to scrap it, so... I'll at least try to include it in this, the behind the scenes, if I don't end up adding it to the original, or to the music video. So, yeah, en enjoy it if you're hearing it. But yeah, we're getting close to the completion of the music video. The only thing we really need now is to get the whole band together and play it. Like, we're actually going to play the song, so that way in the video it looks like we are playing the song, because we are. <laughs> so, yeah. I would say that we're in the final stretch. And it's going to take a long time to do these last few clips of the music video. Is it going to be worth it? Yes, I think so. And other people's opinions, it may not be as good as the Stumbling in Your Footsteps music video, but in my opinion, it will be my absolute favorite because this is my favorite song ever. <laughs> I will see you guys in a bit. <sighs> okay. After a long time of thinking, and after a lot of consideration, I'm going to post the Harvard Artist music video as it is. As much as I would love for the whole band to get together and play the song for the music video, that's probably not going to happen, because our drummer doesn't have all that much time to, one, practice the song, or two, come over, because he has a kid, and a fiancé, and a home to take care of. So, realistically, it's probably not gonna happen. Gavin can't come over right now. And it's either I wait months upon months to post this and everybody forgets about it or I post it now. It's just missing a few things. Do I hate that I'm posting it now? Kind of. But no music video that I've ever done has turned out 100% the way I expected it to. Right now what I've got to do is I've got to take the entire music video, reverse it, and put a filter over it for one part of the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to be importing this right here. We're gonna go to this part, reverse it. Now I'm probably just gonna mess around with the speed of this to try and get it right. Oh God, <laughs> yikes, okay. Before we do that, let's uh, go to the opacity and turn it to like 25, maybe 50. Okay, so. I think 50 is going to be fine. All right, so the way I've made this filter is I put negative, the negative filter on it as well as dope. The dope filter makes it look like this, <laughs> adds a kind of green hue to it, and then negative makes it look all white, and I didn't want that, so I added this, and it enhanced the negative colors. We've obviously got the lyrics right here split up wherever they are said in the song, so like... That's all done by hand, just listening to it over and over again, making sure that it's cut correctly. And then the way I did the glitching is all down here. So we have a TV static filter as well as the green glitching or the glitching green screen right there. And then every four clips of me, like these are different pictures taking in different poses and every one, two, three, third frame or every fourth frame it switches and then every fifth one there's a gap so we get this cool effect that looks a little like this and this part that you see right here in the background actually i'll probably find a better screenshot of it this heart right here i actually drew <laughs> the day uh the resurrection album came out as well as this universe with the uh iris replacing the heart so before anybody tells me to credit the artist i just did <laughs> as well as this i made this myself because i was just like okay i need something that's just like the rage written on the walls so i made like graffiti in photoshop in like 15 minutes and and it ended up looking pretty cool i would say but yeah that's basically the entirety of the behind the scenes here is how everything there's so many tracks dude oh my god there's so many layers i don't know how many layers there are on here but all i can tell you is when i'm done with this project my pc is gonna have a lot more storage than it did all there really is to say now is um thank you for watching and thank you for your patience on this and i'm sorry 
I'm so sorry that it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but I hope that this is good enough. I hope that it satisfies you all as much as it satisfied me. I thought it was bad. I didn't watch it for like a few weeks, and then I just came back to it after watching one of my older music videos, and I was just like, what am I talking about? This is actually really good. It's not Sure, it's not as good as the Stumbling in Your Footsteps music video, but you gotta understand, I was going through a lot then, and I had a lot of ideas, and I was just like, all this negativity goes into this, and I had a lot of help when making it. This was basically done by me, myself, but I, I think that's kind of fitting. Dude, this is ending the way it's beginning. Just me and Iris. Of course, I did have Gavin helping me. I really hope you all enjoy it. I know I do. I know I would like it to be as I imagined it to be, but that's how I am with every project, and I know I'm gonna beat myself up about it a lot, because that's how I am with every project. Just trust me. You should hear the way I talk to myself after I built something in my survival world. I'm just like, it doesn't look right. Tear it all down, rebuild it. Oh god, I spit like everywhere. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Again, seriously, thank you all for the patience. Thank you all for the support. I really sincerely hope you enjoy this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. It was hell at some points, but some projects are like that. But it, I think it was all worth it. I really, really hope you all enjoy this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> That's not my outro. Bye-bye. <laughs> there it is.